mkataba wa miaka miwili la sivyo watabanduliwa mamlakani Rahma Rashid Runinga Citizen Lamu na mtazamaji kama alivyokueleza mapema makatibu wa na wawili tayari washakula viapo na hivi sasa rais anawapa angalizo wanapokuwa na kwenda kutumikia taifa la Kenya Many parents need to keep an eye on the young children going to grade 7, 8 and 9 It is also informed by affordable or affordability of education So I will be working with members of parliament so that the additional facilities that are required for junior secondary the government of Kenya will work with their members of parliament so that they can be delivered on time to provide seamless movement of our, of our children across the education ladder is also instructive to note that 60% of all the stakeholders that were engaged agreed that CBC is the right education curriculum but it requires some review and that is the journey we are going to move uh, together as a country i know in the same report there was suggestions from a majority of the stakeholders again that the burden of cost on the delivery on CBC especially on parents should be reduced and i think the committee will finally give us its report and also in that report many parents suggested that they should do less for the education of their children and that the children are taking a lot of a lot of their time in the evenings but i want to suggest respectfully that as parents me included i know i have pressure for my own daughter every evening asking me to assist in this or that assignment and i want to ask all parents that as parents we must know that the education of our children is not the entire responsibility of teachers it is ours as well i want to ask all parents starting with myself that we must dedicate time every day to follow on the education of our children an hour every day to see the progress of your child in school to assist with the homework and to work with them so that you can understand and you can monitor the progress of your child is not too much to ask of us by our children i want to encourage all parents across the republic of kenya i know in the past parents had very little to do with the education of their children cbc has recruited parents to the middle of the education of their children and i think it is a progressive development for us to be engaged in the education of our children najua wazazi wengi hapa hawawezi kupiga makofi kwa sababu wanalalamika ya kwamba at cbc imewafanya wakakuwa waalimu huko jioni na wanaangaishwa na watoto wao lakini mimi nataka niwaulize wazazi wote hawa watoto ni watoto wetu na ni jukumu letu pia kufuatilia vile wanavyosoma shuleni kuwasaidia na homework kuwasaidia na ile kazi wamepewa kule shuleni lakini kama serikali tumepatiwa mapendekezo ya kwamba kwa kiasi tuweze kupunguza gharama hasa kwa wazazi ya mambo yanayonunuliwa ama items ambazo zinanunuliwa wazazi wengi hawawezi kuzinunua hiyo tutaangalia lakini 
kila mzazi achukue muda jioni kuangalia progress ya mtoto wake shuleni tusichukue watoto wetu tukawaachia walimu and i don't think it is right for us as parents to dump our children in school and forget about them it is our responsibility to follow through their education and assist them as they go through the process of learning to assist in the whole of that process we are going to work with members of parliament as i have said to deliver on the infrastructure required to ensure that our education is purposeful and it is ready for the 21st century in that exercise we have also authorized as government the teacher service commission to hire the largest ever cohort of teachers 30000 teachers will be hired by january so that they can help us deliver on the most important component of preparing citizens of this country that is education and we will make the necessary uh, resources available and we have asked tsc to give priority to the teachers that are cbc compliant when they are hiring the teachers the 30000 teachers by january this year i look forward to all the other interventions i look forward to expediting our universal health coverage plan the ps the cs and all uh, the other stakeholders are going to work with me to ensure that we deliver on that plan again we did make a commitment on matters to do with value addition and agro processing and we are beginning the journey on making sure that our special economic zones here in athi river we are expanding opportunities there and the infrastructure to allow more people to come on board i have instructed that dongo kundu that was supposed to be delivered by 2027 to be brought forward to 2024 and i have also instructed that the naivasha industrial city be fast tracked and all the stakeholders have been mobilized because we need to create platforms that will give us the opportunity on agro processing value addition manufacturing from cotton to leather and all the other products in between and to mobilize the entire agricultural sector so that we can get the raw materials for our value addition and agro processing program to that end by december by this month end of this month the first consignment of fertilizer that will be used by our farmers next year will be arriving in the country we have made necessary interventions i am looking forward to working with the minister the ps and the bureaucracy in the ministry of agriculture we have a program to import 300000 metric tons of assorted fertilizer so that we can assist our farmers produce and we can deal decisively with a challenge of cost of food by ensuring that we enhance our productivity and we expand our production so that we can drive hunger out of our country again the ministry of agriculture i want them to know that we are going to deliver subsidy on a digital platform we are going to do it differently all subsidies will be delivered on the e wallet and i want the ps and the cs ministry of agriculture to begin to make sure that that technology is made ready for the delivery of our fertilizer program so that we can eliminate brokers and middlemen who occasionally give us challenges when we are delivering 
on subsidy on the programs that we have. We have also sorted out the challenges that have impeded the digitization of government services. We have sorted out the challenges we had with e-citizen, and I'm happy to report that by the end of next year, all 5,000 government services will be available on a digital platform. It is part of the program that we will be driving to ensure that we not only are efficient and effective, but we also are in a position to collect all the taxes due to government. I have given instructions to the Ministry of Finance and KRA that by the end of next year, the target of three trillion Kenya shillings must be achieved from our revenues. I know it is doable, I know it is possible, and all of us must walk the talk. And I have said that in matters paying taxes, I will lead the way. No company, no individual, no section of our society will be exempt from paying tax. Tax is the only instrument that confirms our patriotism and confirms our independence as a nation. We do not want to be a nation of beggars. We want to be a nation that is in charge of its own development and destiny. And that is how we are going uh, to work together. Finally, I want also to uh, congratulate all the uh, people who worked so that we can accomplish this uh, function uh, today. I want to thank members of parliament who are here for playing their part as uh, uh, people's representatives. I want uh, to congratulate all the sectors that have participated uh, in making sure that we get here. Even those who went to uh, court, they were also doing their part of building a nation that is accountable so that we can all uh, move together. Yes, a day, uh, two days ago, I did launch one of our signature programs, the Financial Inclusion Fund, called the Hustler Fund, and I am happy that by, eight, uh, uh, by 7 a.m. today, we already had 3.5 million people on that platform, and 700 million Kenya shillings had been made available, had been borrowed on that platform, and I am also happy that we are seeing the trend of repayment, even as Kenyans po uh, borrow on that uh, platform. I want to say that this is phenomenal, and we are starting the journey as a country to a single digit credit regime that will ensure that citizens have access to affordable credit so that we can use it to drive the economy of our country and the progress of our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, principal sector is present here and your families. Again, congratulations from me. I look forward to working with you and my very best wishes as you discharge your responsibilities in the various state departments that you have been assigned. Asante sana, and may the good Lord bless you. Your Excellency.